True. Uh, you know, growing up here in Toronto, I think anybody who played here would have a, you know, a dream to work out for the Toronto Raptors and even players. It's an amazing city. We've seen all the incredible support that we have here, and um, it, it's just uh, been a great opportunity. And you can ask my family; they're extremely excited uh, for me just to be here and to be in this ideal uh, situation. So I'm excited. You know, I think I had a, a good workout and um, had a great time here. How good does it feel to throw that jersey on? Uh, pretty good. I mean, it's not an official one yet, so I don't think I'll be uh, satisfied until I have a real one. But it, it's, it's just good to be in a situation like this, have an opportunity to get drafted, going out and working out for different teams and, and, and you know, giving it your all. That's what we, that's what we dream for as a, as a basketball player, as young Canadian players, to be here and not even just in Toronto, but to be in this, this stage to get drafted. So uh, it's a great time. It's a great opportunity. It feels pretty good. Um, a lot of people try to throw that label of tweener on you. What are you out here to prove or to show NBA scouts and GMs about yourself at the next level? Um, you know, I, I think I think it depends on how you look at the word tweener. I mean, if you see it as a valuable thing, then uh, I think that I bring a lot of stuff. I think that um, uh, I'm a small forward and I bring the versatility to be able to defend, you know, bigger guys, uh, have a, a strong body that can do a lot of things defensively and offensively, versatile, can shoot the ball and play inside and out. And if you, you know, if you don't consider those good things, then I guess uh, tweener is a bad thing. But um, I just think that it, it depends on how you view the role. And a lot of teams view the tweener and the way the basketball is playing in the small ball. Uh, you know, that's something, that's an asset. That's something that you can use uh, to help you win games. So I'm just coming out here trying to show that I can play defense, I can defend the, the perimeter, uh, defend small forwards, can, can uh, you know, be a, a leader, uh, shoot the ball, and be uh, aggressive. So I think I did that today, uh, show that I was vocal and um, have those skills to, to be a good defender. So that's all I'm doing coming out here, just trying to do what I've done for the past four years and continue to show people that I'm a, a good player and excited and, and ready to play at the NBA. Is there any strangeness for you going from you know, one of the best players on one of the better teams in the country to go into you know, this process where you're constantly trying to prove yourself again and again? Um, it's kind of like freshman, I mean, uh, <laughs> senior year in high school all over again. You know, it's kind of like uh, you're going for college, except this time the schools aren't coming to you. You're going to the schools, I mean, going to, the, to the, these yeah. teams. And it's, um, you know, it's just as important to show, you know, as it was then, to show how good you are to go out and, and um, you know, play well, you know, conduct yourself in a well manner and, and go out and play hard. So it, it's, it's kind of strange going back to that, but it's something I've been a part of, something we've all been a part of, and it's just exciting to be back in a situation like this where you have the chance to go and potentially get drafted and play in the NBA. So um, it's uh, kind of the same feeling, but a little bit more exciting. Do you get to experience the excitement of it all? Because you're going from city to city and you're focused on the workouts. But do you get to actually take a moment and realize it's pretty awesome? I have this month to prepare for this. Um, I kind of leave that to my family. Yeah. I try to like to uh, focus on just, you know, going a day at a time, working out, and just keeping my focus simple and uh, going out and working out as hard as I can in each workout and, and focus on each workout at a time. So, so it doesn't get a little overwhelming because it it's an, a great experience and it's, a, and it's an important part of your life. And it's, it's easy to lose focus and get overwhelmed and think that, you know, you're in such a great and get caught up in the moment. So I try to just stay focused, uh, do what I can day to day, and, uh, you know, just prepare myself for each workout and go out and do, it, uh, do the best that I can. Going back to the tweener thing over a second. I mean, he go, um, when you go into your, your interviews with these guys, is there more, I mean, like you said, tweener can be looked at as a bad thing and a good thing, but it looks like the league is heading in a direction where the tweener thing is, is a good thing. Yeah. I mean, are you getting that positive vibe from me? Yeah, I mean, I, I like I mentioned, I've yet to see, any, see anyone that said, yo, you're a tweener. Uh, we don't really do tweeners over here. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so, you know, I'm pretty sure it's, you know, I've been getting a positive vibe for it. And, and, and honestly, it's not even about being a tweener. It's about being a player. If you're somebody that can go out and, and play basketball on different levels and play at different positions, and you're valuable. You're you're a good you're a good player. That's what I consider. It. It's not really a tweener. It's not really a small. It's not really a big. You're just a good player. So I think that, like you said, it is something that the NBA is heading towards, and it's becoming um, more of an asset instead of something that is uh, defining you as something you know less than a great player. Do you have anyone that you talk to going through this process that has gone through it before? Like anyone just to give you advice? Um, yeah, I talked to a couple of my friends. Uh, more recently, I talked to a couple guys that um, Deontay Garrett. He's with Utah. He, he had gone through this process, and uh, you know he ultimately went to Europe and then came to. The NBA and Will, uh, Will Clyburn, who was here, um, got, uh, didn't get drafted, but went through this whole process, and Will Barton, uh, a friend of mine who plays at Portland, I went to high school with, and got drafted. So I just talked to a couple of those guys, talked to some of my agents and, and people in my corner. And, you know, Steve Nash reaches out and, and talks to me once in a while, and Rowan Barrett, and some, some of those guys that just been a part of the situation, who know uh, the ins and outs, and especially Coach Fred, somebody who's gone through it on the, on the player's uh, standpoint and as a, a front office guy. So he really has helped me with some insight along with all those guys, just explaining to me the process process, what you need to do, how you need to conduct yourself, the ways you want to act, how you want to play, playing hard, and, and just little things that could, you know, go a long way. So I really appreciate all those guys for that and um, really just listen to them and, and kind of get some insight onto the process. What workout number is this for you and where have you already been? Um, this is four if you don't consider uh, we had an Excel workout. Sorry about that. 
And um, I've been to Utah, Philly, and Charlotte. And when it's all said and done, I'll probably have about uh, 12 or 13, uh, sorry, <laughs> a total wins. So um, it's, uh, it's going to be a you know, in front process. You get to travel, get to go around, get to uh, you know, showcase yourself. And hopefully on, on the 26th, I hear, I hear my name called. Uh, a lot of players go to college for one year and then go in the draft immediately, but you stuck around for four years at Iowa. Do you think this makes you more pro ready? Um, without a doubt. I think that um, I have, a, a, you know, compared to the guys who have gone one and done or even have been there for a few years, uh, you have a level of maturity, a level of understanding of, of, uh, of uh, task management um, uh, and uh, you know, commitment that you have when you when you stay in school and when you stay in school it shows a lot of values and a lot of things that you do not to say that these guys don't necessarily have that but I think that the fact that I've been in there for four years has taught me a lot of things a lot of things that I can translate over to uh, being a professional and being somebody playing in the NBA so I really think that it's helped me it's prepared me on uh, multiple fronts as an athlete and as a student as a person as a gentleman so I think that it, it has helped me and it is a benefit and you know I would recommend for all the people not a lot of people not everyone's gonna go one and done so for the rest of you guys and it's a majority of people you know stay in school, get a degree, uh, you know, uh, uh, finish with something that you can take and use for the rest of your life. At some point, there's going to be a Canadian draft by this team at some point, could be this year. Is there a negative tone to that in some ways, though, as well, that there's going to be a lot of pressure that comes with being that first Canadian, being that guy who's maybe in a hometown as well and friends and family and tickets and all the stuff that's going to come with kind of carrying that Canadian mantle? Um, you know, I, I thought about that for a bit, and I think that you know it, it, it depends on the type of person. I mean, if you're someone and uh, if you're someone who's who's mature, who knows uh, how to handle themselves, who can be in tough situation, can handle that thing, who's uh, has that maturity, it's not as bad of a situation. It's something you can deal with if you're the right person. If you're young, if you're inexperienced, if you're somebody who necessarily uh, doesn't know how to deal with that, don't have the right group of people around you, it could be tough. It could be something that in, it acts as a negative instead of a positive. So I think it all depends on the type of person, the type of people you have in your corner, and uh, the type. Of maturity you have as a, as a player and as a person as a professional so it, it all depends on the person but I think that you know without a doubt someone's gonna get you know drafted with all the talent that we have out of Canada and uh, it's just about picking the right person and somebody who knows how to deal with that pressure and I think that um, you know there's a few of us who, who could definitely handle that. Jordan Clarkson was in here yesterday and he said that his experience working with, with you guys the Canadians in the draft that the common denominator with all of you is work ethic and maturity and character you mentioned for you staying in school but is there a reason you think that that all you guys kind of have those characteristics um yeah i mean for uh for most of us canadians you know we we come from a we come from a background where you're leaving your country you're leaving your family you're leaving your friends to pursue basketball so this is not just a game that we're playing to hang around for me i, I left when i was 15 and this was something that if, if i didn't make it here it was a waste of time it was a waste of my mom's money it was a mix of, of of my effort so i had a, an outlook on it that was professional it was something that i wanted to achieve and we go into that leaving home um, with that ideal you know a lot of us go in knowing that we want to be successful we want to do everything it takes to make it so uh, we do that we don't play around we, we act mature we, we do all the necessary things and we work hard because we know that that we have a lot of people you know in our corner who want us to succeed and who have put a lot of stuff into us succeeding so that's what we go out there and and I do and and we do and I think that Jordan's exactly right a lot of us uh, you know we've come from places where we have those people in our backgrounds who have who have guided us and helped us and, and uh, helped nurture us into becoming the players that we are and really you know emphasize doing the right thing working hard and, and playing like that and I mentioned teams like CIA bounce and the AAU programs who really help mold young kids into you know uh, incredible gentlemen who can play game who can play the game at a, an incredible uh, Level. What's it like for you just to look at how much the game has grown here over the past four, five, six years and to know that you're going to be a part of continuing it to grow for younger players? Um, it's amazing. I mean, in the past, you know, just in the past uh, 12 months, I was talking to someone the other day, you can see the, the support has increased just with the amount, sheer amount of number of people that we have in the draft. And it's only going to continue to go up. With, we have programs like CIA Bounce and other, other teams that are producing these great players. That support, that energy, that, that uh, commitment to Canada basketball is only going to continue to increase. And it's great being somebody that's in the forefront of it, who can help lead it, who can help direct it. And it's, it's an ideal time to be Canadian. It's an ideal time to be a basketball player. And it's, uh, it's really a, a, an, uh, a great time right now. Um, he, he's got a bit of a jump shot, um, you know, he's got some nice moves um, and uh, he, he makes you laugh while he's playing. So he, he, he's, he's crafty. Yeah, that's his thing. So he, he, you know, he was a good guy. He came out here and was working out here. He comes out here often and uh, really it was a good sport and a really uh, a cool person. From a development standpoint, um, what do you feel like you got to be working on to take the game to a whole new level? 
Um, I think, you know, everyone needs to work on their game. Uh, nobody's perfect. Nobody in this draft's coming in perfect. So for me, it's just, uh, you know, just continue to get better at uh, what I do, get better at shooting, get better at, uh, you know, playing defense, being a perimeter player, and really just, uh, you know, establishing uh, my presence on the court. So just doing that, and those are things that I've been doing for the past four years. And as you see and you look at my game tape, you can tell that it's been increasing every year. So, you know, without a doubt, I, I think it's going to, you know, only continue to get better. I'm only going to continue to get better. And those are things that I'm just going to, you know, keep focusing on as I go through this process. And even when I, you know, hopefully get drafted, just continue to work on in my game and just uh, becoming the best player that I could be. You mentioned that you've worked out for a few teams already. How have the interviews gone and how much does the fact that you're obviously a very articulate young man, how much does that help you through this process? Um, yeah, so we have had a couple of interviews and uh, I think those are, I think those are, um, good opportunities for both sides. I mean, for players, it's an opportunity for you to go out, talk to the uh, GMs and owners and let them know who you are, where you come from, things you do. Uh, you get it to kind of defend yourself. You see, you have one chance um, to say how you feel and see, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, articulate, you know, who you are and what you do. And on the other side, it's an opportunity for them to get to know you, to see who they're investing in, to see what they want. And, and, um, and it's, it's just a great opportunity. And I think I, it, it does help that you're, you're somebody that could, can talk well, can speak well, um, articulate yourself and, and get your point across genuinely and, and, uh, and in a way that people understand. So it really helps me and I really thrive and I think I enjoy those par uh, parts of, the, of these um, draft, draft uh, workouts because it's an opportunity to sit down and really get to know people one-on-one -on -one and show them who you are and your character and, and that goes a long way. Are you getting tired of having to answer the same question? Last question. question. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. I'm used to it. I've, done, I've been doing it for four years, so it's okay. <laughs>